I don't want a lot for Christmas. There is just one thing I need. And uh, a brand new episode of this podcast series. <laughs> yeah, that's. Nice. Uh, thank you very much for tuning in to the Christmas episode of Growing Pains. We are here. Wow. Insert jingle bells. Yes. They won't do that. It's not YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Woohoo. Santa's come. It's come around very quickly, actually. This is why I love Christmas. Yeah. Because I said, propose to me in December, because one, it always comes around so quickly. Yeah. So it's fun. Yeah. And two, it's in December, funnest month of the year. Well, unfortunately, we don't have enough time to do that. So you just have to look forward to the presents that I've got you. Which is two of the things I've asked you to get. You've had no creativity so far. And you told me last night you've not bought anything. And you know what is a common theme with Ethan, right? He goes, oh, it's going to come in like three days. But you've had all December. Yeah, I'm not the best with presents in Christmas. I'm but really you leave not. it till like next day. But then there's already like Santa is already trying so Santa's hard to sky, deliver man. everything. He's in the sky. And you just trying. try to Amazon next day deliver him. Yeah, I like the I like the Amazon workers. They're good. They usually do me a solid. There's just one or two things that usually get hustled and muscled. Yeah. Well, I've got like nine of your gifts ready yeah. to be wrapped at home. Well, I've got two of yours ready to be wrapped. And I know what they are and I told you to well, buy I know them. You've got me as well, actually. <laughs> huh? I know what you've got me. Only one of them, yeah, and that's my dad's fault. But I know. Yeah, my, my dad tried to hide one. I said, hide it upstairs in one of the end rooms. He won't go in there. Yeah. And then and then he put it in a pram shed, and you put your golf clubs around yeah. it, and it's right there. I've seen it. Yeah, he got a row machine. Well, yes, uh, Christmas time is upon us. I am ill. Still. Uh, yeah, so baby baby got me. And uh, Sorry for everyone listening to this. I am very nasally right now. No, you don't uh, sound great. It doesn't, it, I don't feel great. Mm. Uh, but yes. But you look slay. I look slay. S L E I G H. Slay. Girl King. S L Pussy boss. S L I G H. Slay. You spell it right. S L I G H. No, it's not. It's got an E in it. S L E I G H. Yeah, what? Slay. Yeah, what? Slay. Slay. Jingle, jingle. Jingle, jingle bells. What's your favourite Christmas song, actually? Um, it's five more nights until you're next to me. The Ariana Grande one. Four more days of being lonely. I don't even know if those are the words. No. The Ariana Grande one? No, that's Leona oh. Lewis. Oh, what's the Ariana Grande one? Um, Santa tell yeah, me. That one, yeah. That you're really there. Yeah. Oh, do you know what is my new uh, favourite Christmas song? Oh, wow. My Christmas song. Is it out now? It will be yeah, at this wow. point. Yeah. So if you haven't watched it, go go <laughs> stream it. Go Listen stream to it. it. Go write it. it up. Yeah. Because I'm I'm proud of it. I've, oh, it's me. actually quite cool. Yeah. It, it went well. And if you haven't watched the music video, you should. Because yeah. Ethan is in hot pants. Yeah, I got stitched up. Mate. He's in and summer's hot pants. So I'd really recommend going and watching it and leaving a thumbs My up. My was falling out. Oh yeah. No. At multiple times, I heard. My cock's falling out. It did. It slipped out the side. Yeah. Um, but yeah, hey, what do we normally do for Christmas? Ho, ho, ho. Yeah, damn right you are. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> um, we usually go to my mother's house yep. we, on Christmas and celebrate there. We play games. Um, we have um, mulled wine. Yep. We open presents. Yep. Uh, that's about it, really. Yeah, you cooked. But yeah, usually it's a big, 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 the games are fun. I like, sorry guys. Bro's giving a cue stick right now. Bro what is are you doing? Uh, it's, uh, it's a good time, Christmas. What are you doing? Uh, I like my bubble. Sit still. It feels funny in my head. That's great. You're a 28 year old man. Uh, so we had a child last Christmas that was two months old. Three months. Three months even, yeah, sorry. it's not that hard to work out. from 25th <laughs> sorry, of yeah. so it's uh, three months. Guys, my brain's not working properly. Uh, but it is now her second Christmas. So yes, she's and gonna she be, still doesn't know what's going on. So gonna next be, Christmas. Yeah, she's going to be one year old in three months. <laughs> yeah, exactly. so next Christmas is going to be our Christmas. She's definitely going to have a lot more fun. Yeah. But again, with like the things of like putting the mince pie out for Santa or doing the carrots for the reindeer. We'll still do stuff. it. Yeah, we'll do it and say, oh, look, the, they've been, but she's not going to... She gonna, ain't going to have a clue. Whereas next year... She might, and I still doubt she'll know a lot. But even even then, you can at least like have a conversation and build up to the fact that Santa's coming. Yeah. You yeah. can tell them that there's this man that comes yeah. and brings you presents. And he's safe. He's not... Yeah, he's not a bad man. Because Santa's quite scary if you deep it. Yeah, he's only a bad man if you bring a... Mm. If you're being naughty. Yeah. Oh, my God, stop. Oh, I cannot do this all podcast. I will leave. I cannot... 
It's fun though. You do it. No. Do it. Who no. Have a wobble you bubble. No, probably. Yeah. Wobble right. you bubble. No, it's just tickling my side of my head. Wobble you bubble. Uh, who gets the most excited for Christmas? It's definitely you. Me. Christmas. Yeah. It's definitely Smells you. Christmas falling down. Yeah. Christmas. On December 1st, the tree is up. Well, actually, I actually think it was a Saturday because it was on a weird day. It took a while, yeah. No, it didn't. It took like one day. Like oh, weekend. I mean, like, you did put it up. It took a while. Yeah, because I was doing it on my own. Yeah, but like... Of course, that's going to take me a while. It's a big old fucking ordeal. tree. Yeah. Um, yeah, I decorate the whole house, don't I? Christmas lights crack everywhere. Yeah, the Christmas lights in the hallway were really quite something. Aren't yeah, we? so they was meant to be really neat and tidy. Like, I tied it so on a ceiling. I put lights up and it was meant to be row by row. Like so every inch of the ceiling is good. Do you know how expensive that was be? Yeah. And I chose the smallest ceiling of, of the house it looks we have. like a session don't it? oh I just did a look big old gap as soon as I put the damage free hooks up I thought fuck this I'm not doing it and plus yeah, that would have cost me like fucking 900 quid yeah uh, really we ridiculous. need to take a picture of it when we get home so they can put it on the podcast but yeah it's really, it's really quite something however I will say I sent a picture of our living room especially now we've got that thing up over the arch mm. I sent like a picture from the, the grey room into the tree and everyone was like fair dude it's really cool yeah, they really what, did the boys it. approve? Yeah. I love that. Yeah, they really like I just have to, We so like you say, we had an arch that we actually got for the music video for my song. <laughs> Don't want to say it again, but my song, um, we, we got an arch, but I, we bought it inside because I thought it was going to get ruined outside and I'll pay for it, so I'm going to keep it. It fits the arch that we have in our, in to conjoin our living rooms perfectly. Yeah. So put it there, but I actually need to decorate it because yeah. I've seen some on Facebook and whatever, they've decorated theirs and I've not done that. Yeah. And I think that's what is missing. Oh, amazing. Yeah. Uh, what was I going to say? Don't know, Brian. You're leading. Forgot what was going to happen there. That's really great. You've put mistletoe up. I have. I know. I've not had one kiss yeah. from you. Olive does it though. Olive, yeah. Olive gives me a kiss. Olive's got uh, some apples that she picked out and put them on the tree. Yeah. Yeah. So she, apple. Apple. And, apple. And all the strings on the apples, ball balls are broken because she's pulled them all off. Yeah, that's one thing. And I we've think now got broke. we've got a, a fence terrace around the tree. Yeah, which actually works better for the dog. Yeah. yeah. We've got a tree skirt. I never knew these things existed. Yeah. You said why you buying that? I really like the tree skirt. Thank you very much. I really like the tree skirt. The tree skirt is nice. Thank you. I think that cost me about thirty quid. Yeah. Christmas inflation is fucking. Deep, man. Christmas this year, yeah. People should uh, just not stop. Buy, people should just not buy things because of the cost of living crisis, man. That's just your excuse to not buy me oh, presents. Yeah. Have you finished Christmas shopping? Who does all the present buying? Uh, you've done a lot of all those present. What buying. do you mean a lot of them? I have done all of them, <laughs> and I have found because yeah, I've got to buy a whole new sauce. fucking wardrobe again, again. Every time she That's goes up, part in, of having a baby. <laughs> every time she goes up in size, that even. still doesn't touch the size of what I've spent on her Christmas, by the way. Sure. It'll do like £300 on clothes. Oh. Our fucking kitchen is full of presents. <laughs> Anywho, so I've sourced, I've searched. I've got, you don't know anything she's got. It's going to be a surprise, which is just the current theme for Christmas. Dads have no idea what, what your child's getting. Only the mum knows, let's be real. So I've got everything and I then got, because I've spent enough, I went on Amazon yesterday and I bought uh, one gift from you, but I pay for it off your account. Great. You know about how I told you. Yeah, I know. Yeah, so Ethan has spent like hundred and thirty pound. That's it. Sure. Well Thanks done. for trying to make me look bad. You don't look bad. I just think that's a common theme. Dads don't buy presents. They do. Have you thought, oh, I should buy her any yes, presents? Yes, but you just went and, I was at work one day and you went, I've just bought all this stuff, by the way, and that was that done. There was no conversation about it. You just, I was home. You just sent me a screenshot went, I've got all this stuff. Yeah, I've got this stuff. Yeah, but no, you do it Christmas Eve. So don't, don't try and make I can't, out that I can't I trust Christmas. Christmas Eve purchases. It's too late. It stressed me out. Uh, I'm not the best at buying presents anyway. I just sort of wait until the last I minute. Think, I think I've done a good job nonetheless. Well done. Uh, <laughs> baby pros and cons of Christmas. Ooh. I'd say... I think the pro is, a con. The pro is it's quite magical. It, it's, it definitely bought the and magic And it's going to get even more magical. As she gets But I'd say the con is you can't like just fucking get rat assed or like... Bro, there's no switch off. Or like, yeah, you just can't like, there's no like completely shutting off. Like, like as soon yeah. as you get a tiny little bit happy and drunk. I couldn't drink last year at all, by the way, because I was breastfeeding. Yeah. Um, not doing that this year because I can't, um, <laughs> <laughs> pretty much. Um, but even so, like, I'm so worried. I'm going to have to buy oven locks. Yeah. Because yeah. she opens everything. And I just think... Like, we go to my mum, she's got like four ovens, but they're low. And if she pulls that, because they're just so easy to just, I'm like, it's going to stress me out. Yeah, yeah. Um, 
And obviously, I've said to you, like, do we stay there Christmas Eve so we don't have to bother getting all the car loaded and then go Christmas? Yeah. But then I'm like, do we do that? It's all it's all a bit of a rush for us, I think. Yeah, I, I will, think uh, next year we'll do Christmas at our house. One because if she does understand, she'll be like, "Well, why Santa? Why is it yeah, gone yeah. to Nanny's house? Yeah. That's confusing." Two, we have a nice house. I just don't want the responsibilities. <laughs> you uh -huh. want to cook? Like it, yeah. I don't want to host. I don't really want to cook. And but then if it was at our house, I wouldn't want anyone else to cook. I'd want it to be me. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like I wouldn't want anyone else doing the first Christmas in our house, so I'd have to cook. Yeah. But then it's, can I get a drink? Yes. Go to the fridge and get one. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what I mean yeah so, uh, I, I and it's think, the mess after oh my god yeah I think I think the pros and cons of having a baby at Christmas are it's magical but it's also you don't get I uh, yeah you don't get you don't really do your Christmas for you as much anymore no like, yeah. But again, my I don't know. It felt pretty magical last year, but last year where she was three months old, I was like a nugget. Like, oh, it was, it was nugget, yeah. Like. It was. I remember it being so difficult because we try and put her down for a nap, and then there'd be music, dogs are barking, and then we'd be trying to play Christmas games, and then yeah. she'd wake up, yeah, and then we'd have to go and sort her, come back in, go and sort her, come. Back. So this year she will just be awake and have one nap, which yeah, she'll is, have fun. She'll yeah, have so she'll actually have fun this year, which is good. Um, but I did see on. On Facebook, actually, this was a family started a Christmas tradition, <laughs> yep. which we are going to do. So, you know, we've got the arch. Yep. Like we say, it's a big, it's not got any doors. It literally is just an arch conjoining two rooms. Yep. If anyone has this, I suggest it. So the parents have put wallpaper, wallpaper. No, they didn't. Fucking idiot. Christmas paper. Christmas wrapping paper. Yeah. You with me? Yeah. You look lost. Right. Christmas wrapping paper and the arch and get the kids to run through it. And oh, it breaks cool. into the Christmas tree and the magic in yeah, Christmas. Cool, yeah. yeah. So we're going to do that. But she's already seen the magic in that room. There ain't no presents in there. Oh, right. I mean, okay. Christmas, Christmas morning. You oh, right. Okay. To yeah. see all your sure, presents. Sure, yeah. Sure. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah. I think that's really yeah, that's good idea. Fun. Yeah. 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 Ollie's not going to be able to run through it yet. So we'll yeah, it doesn't matter. That. We can sh film it. And then when she's like, older progressively through the years memories isn't it sure uh moving on great that got demissed we have <laughs> demissed <laughs> <laughs> uh we have christmas dilemmas this time around oh Ooh, wow here we go hey guys love the pod thank Cheers. you very much uh i've got a big christmas dilemma and i really need some help this you're, hat you're is very richie bruv i think it's got nits in it who wore it last chip i are you listening <laughs> yes because you don't listen she's I, having a christmas dilemma yeah i oh. 23 female been officially with my boyfriend, 24 male, for only two months and dating for four months before that. Now it's Christmas and I have no idea what to get him. I don't want to go overboard as we've really not been together for a very long time. I also have no idea how much I should be spending and don't have any ideas for small presents for a boy. For some context, he's a massive Spurs fan and loves to go into the gym. Any help would be amazing. P.S. Merry Christmas to you and your gorgeous family. Oh, that's very really cute. Don't ask me for advice for anything little. Oh no, God. faith is overboard. I, I, everything I do is yeah. fucking so yeah. over the top yeah like i think we'd not been together long for your no. first birthday and i for a whole shindig invited all your friends around my mum's house yeah, like yeah yeah i'm ott but yeah. i what we have done in the past is a good game um we've both got five letters in our name that was a good we? game yeah and uh, we you don't really have to set a, a max or a thing we've never really been the type to just go and buy like oh Louis Vuitton Gucci whatever no. anyway so I feel like for us it was a pretty normal game you had to buy um, you had to buy a present beginning with each letter of my name so a letter for F A I T and H yeah and it worked quite well because we've both got five five yeah. letters but so it's equal yeah but you could both pick a random if you've, one's called Ben and one's called Jennifer it's not very fair so if you just pick yeah Ben gets shanked Santa S-A-N-T-A -A, both got to do presents for yeah. Santa. Play the Santa game. Yeah. But if you don't want to play that game bubble. anyway, you said he's a massive Spurs fan and loves to go into the gym. Like literally. So just sack him off. No, but li yeah, give him, give him Noddy. I'm joking. He, no, that that's not present. what I meant. I meant because you're best oh, been him. Oh, no. I thought you said suck him off. No, I oh. would just say that on the pod. I do have some decorum. Oh, look at that big word you've learned from me. That. Yeah. You've actually learned that from me. Like, I don't know week. where I've heard it. Yeah, it was me the last week. Right, I said. Where have you told me to have decorum for? You don't have decorum. I do. <laughs> um, if he's a Spurs fan, again, I, I know football kits are probably a bit pricey nowadays, but if he doesn't have the away kit, for example, get him that printed with his name on the back. That's or a retro one. shirt. Or a retro Spurs shirt. That's a very good one. Uh, and if he likes the gym, literally get him a load of grenade bars or something. Like, just shit that's... I thought you were going to say grenades. No, but just shit that's handy, it. isn't it? Like, it's not I, very Christmas I, 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 If you got me, like, a pack of grenade bars, I'd be, like, buzzing with that. That's class. I send you them. I'm not buying them. I uh, send you them. Yeah, I know. But like, for example, that's what I mean. It's just easy. And it's not, not that expensive. 
I don't know though, because I wouldn't be like, oh, that screams Christmas. Because I think it's a bit different. Where you're, you have everything, bro. Let's let's not be real. No, let's be real. Let's be real. Let's yeah. be real. You you have everything. So you're very much happy with these smaller things yeah, like true. a fucking chocolate bar. Whereas I feel like if you if it was normal times and you've gone here to grenade bar, pack a ten. Thanks. No, that's that's a neat. Like it's a gym. That, yeah, that's but maybe maybe get him like a new fucking night feet. shop or shop. Why can't I talk? Top. Nike top. Yeah, Nike top. All right, yeah, get him a new gym top. <laughs> Do you know what uh, I mean? If you click the link in my bio and use code gym Ethan, shop, you get ten yeah. percent off. Yeah, on Gymshark, so not like Gym Shark, How about that? Yeah. There you go. There you go. He's done you a favour. I've, done you, I've done you a favour. I've got you Christmas 10% miracle. off there. There you go. Yeah. It's all well, good. Done. He's got new gym gear and potentially a Spurs shirt. Um, a grenade bar. <laughs> and tell him, by the way, that Spurs, uh, Spurs are actually quite good this season. Oh, yeah. fair. Yeah. But guess what? what? West Ham beat him. So. <laughs> they did do that like 4-0, yeah. wouldn't Send it? in this as a voice note. Unlucky, you Spurs fan, loser. <laughs> <laughs> Hold that. Uh, right, next up. I love Christmas, but it's always a really tricky time for me. My parents are split up and both of them get upset at me and my brother for spending Christmas with the other parent. The year is supposed to be... Well, this year is supposed to be a year I spend Christmas Day with my mum and Boxing Day through to New Year with my dad. However, my girlfriend and I really want to spend t Christmas together. Christmas Day without the family and the aftermath with her family. How do I tell my dad without upsetting him? Do you think I should sack off Christmas with my girlfriend to keep my dad happy? I personally would say family first. Yeah, yeah, I would say so. But then the family are getting the ump that you are with one or the other. Anyway, so but that's just... But if that's ag already their agreement <laughs> that they've found to make it work, one does Christmas, one does Boxing and New Year. Do you know what I mean? But it seems like every year, they the parents are still not understanding that this is shinding. They're still telling them off every year. Yeah, you can't do that. If you've split up, if like, that's at the, the end of the day, you're still, yeah. like, you're still my mum, you're still yeah. my dad. Like. If the understanding is you alternate every year, don't then keep making the kids feel bad. Yeah. Because that's what they're doing. Yeah. So, you shouldn't do that anyway. No. So if they do still make you feel bad, I implore you to spend it with your girlfriend. Yeah, true, actually. Because then that just... Now, now, now you, you guys, yeah, you, you might be thinking, oh, I'm, I'm unhappy. At least you're still seeing me. True, because if, if you're guilt tripping them... Yeah, they're just ruining their Christmas at this yeah. point. Yeah, yeah, no, I agree, that's actually. Selfish. Spend it with your girlfriend. That's quite selfish. Yeah, I agree. I th always will tell people, do something that makes you happy. And I, know, I understand that people might say whatever, yeah. But you, listen... If they keep every year making you feel bad at Christmas time, do something that makes you feel good for Christmas time. Yeah, I agree, actually. Start new traditions. Yeah. Be your own bitch. Uh, well, that's enough of the dilemmas. Ooh. Let's move on to something fruity. Go on in. <laughs> Christmas quiz. I've got some questions for you. Yeah. And I believe you've got some questions for uh -huh, me. Ah, I do. Wow. Oh. Who wants to go first? Let me go first. All right. This is fucking easy. All right. It's not actually, I got it wrong. I just read the outside. Right. Would have got it wrong. Du -du -du Where? Was baby Jesus born? Bethlehem. Yeah. I Come was on. Say Jerusalem. Jerusalem. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bethlehem, eh? Yeah. Come on, big up. It's really cool in Bethlehem. Yeah. Bro just wanted an excuse to do that. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun, man. I like my bubble. Right. My question to you is what words follow? Silent night in the song. Holy night. Well done. Yeah. Oh, but some people come. could get confused and say silent night. Oh, silent night. night. Does it? Yeah. Man, no, it jump virgin, Mother oh, and child. Yes, now silent night. Can you beat Because I no. feel like you could. No, Have you no. ever tried? I used to when I was really young. Like the, the, the base of your voice just hit there. I reckon you could. Go on, try and beatbox for no, me. No, I'm not beatboxing. Please. No, I'm not beatboxing faith. That that was an exclusive remix that you guys just got. <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> you sound like Donald Duck getting ready to like do so. <laughs> beatboxing. Okay, well I can't do it. All right, next one. Okay. Which one of Santa's reindeers has the name... No, sorry. Which one of Santa's reindeer has the same name as another holiday mascot? Oh, I wouldn't fucking know. I do, because I've got the answer. But... Would you like me to repeat the question? No, so there's a, there's a reindeer with the same name as another holiday. Mascot, yep. Rudolph. <laughs> the red notes are in there. Mm -hmm. Prancer, dancer, donner. 
I don't know any of the others. <laughs> there's Desert and Preser. <laughs> Vixen and Dixon. Yeah, Vic, no, Dixon ain't one. Vixen. Oh. That's good though. Vixen. Prancer Don- Donna. I ain't got a clue, mate. Yeah, pass. Cupid. Cupid. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Uh, it did. Yeah, yeah. Remember. Valentine's yeah. one. Oh, poo. That was poor for me, actually. Mm. That's really bad. Now, Rudolph the Red Nose the original film was actually one of my, like, favourite things to ever watch at Christmas time. Is it? We I used put to, it on for I used to put it on all the time. It's a really good one for Olive, yeah. actually. All right, next up for you. In Home Alone, where are the McAllisters going on vacation when they leave Kevin behind? I thought I've only watched this once. I really? Don't think I watched it all the way through. Poor from you. Uh, you just start watching the Home Alone set. I don't know. Oh, Pick no, somewhere on. Yeah, they they are going. Up, uh, they're leaving here. Down under. You think they're going to Australia? Yeah. No. Where are they going? They go to Paris. Oh well, I wouldn't have guessed that. My next time was New York, but then I thought they already lived there. That's where they. Yeah. 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 Cool. All right. That was wrong then. According to the song 12 Days of Christmas, yep. what did my true love give to me on the eighth day of Christmas? On the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me. <laughs> I don't know it. I do. Right, go on. on the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me partridge in a pear tree. Right, so that's one, yeah. All right, go on. on the second day of Christmas, ah, the ghost of Christmas past is back. Yeah, on the second day. It's destroying the set. It's still going. It's fine. And uh, second, it's fine. On the second day, on the second, second day of Christmas, day of Christmas, I do like to me. Uh, doves. No. What is it? Eight maids are milking. Yeah, I ain't got a clue, mate. I, I, we actually did a video on more Sidemen recently that was uh, finish the lyric for Christmas songs. Bro, I did nothing for twenty minutes. I, bro, your mic's got a flop. Your mic's got a flop. <laughs> My mic is actually broken. It's not Can I have a new bro. one for Christmas. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm really bad with like the Christmas like spirit of songs and stuff. I literally just don't know anything, man. Mm. I don't know anything. All right, next up. Which country started the tradition of putting up a Christmas tree? And this is just what general knowledge? With Christmas knowledge, actually. Somewhere with trees. Lots of trees. Alaska. You think Alaska? Maybe. Maybe. Mm -hmm. I'll give you one opportunity to change it. Norway. No. Spain. No. England. (laughs) Spain. No. Finland. No. Switzerland. No. Ethiopia. Ethiopia put, started the tradition of putting up a Christmas tree. Fucking hell. <laughs> it's Germany. Oh, well, I wouldn't have never yeah. guessed that. All right, go on then. Didn't realise they were so Christmas spirited. What was the highest grossing Christmas movie of all time? I don't know. By the way, if that's my last question, your last question's a fucking doddle. Your first one was a doddle though. Bethlehem. Yeah, but so was your first one. It was oh. what followed Silent Night. <laughs> yeah, only because I knew it. All right. Uh, Ron knows her hymns. Highest, highest grossing Christmas film of all time is Die Hard. No, all right, that's like it? Hangover Three. It is Home Alone. Great, sure, amazing. All right, let's just end the quiz. Uh, uh, no, you. Uh, how do you say Merry Christmas in Spanish? Merry Christmas. <laughs> what the fuck just happened? You know it. Feliz Navidad. Yeah, there you go. Well done. Uh, well done, Faith won the Christmas quiz. Please. I kind of want to play your game. What game? The song one. Can we play it too? No, it's so hard. Faith. I want to play it. No, Faith, Please. it's so hard. I've got one. I'll ask Simon to send you the PDF document and we'll play it. No. No, not Simon one. Mini Minter. No, no. Can I have your PDF document? No, 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 no. I'll DM him. <laughs> no. Oh, shit, my tooth. But yeah, um, we played it. And at one point I'm looking into the cameras and I'm just saying to these people, I'm going, I've done nothing. <laughs> I don't know any Christmas tunes. No, no, no. You just don't want to be embarrassed. No, it's not even that. I just, I, I, I was just making things up. You don't want to get sent to school. You would probably beat me, yeah. 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 Play a game I can play. It's my time. Uh, rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Fuck. Oh my God, my mic. Yeah. <laughs> what did you do for Christmas? You made a song. Yeah. <laughs> What's um, the song called? Yeah, so to touch into it more. What's it called? It's called... Christmas with you. Christmas with you. In brackets, sha la la la. Why did you put the sha la la in brackets? Because it's. Oh, I need to clip my knee. Sorry, one sec. Because. What are you doing? My knee is like jarred, but it needs to like clip back. I'll do it in a minute. Um, so it's called Christmas with you, sha la la la. And the last are there just because 
the in the song it goes, which you would know by now, sha la la la, sha la la la, yeah, that bit. So it just helps people when they're flicking through, oh, Christmas with you probably sounds like a lot of other songs, okay. but it couldn't really be called anything else. Right, so, to, so, do, so to do that to help people identify, all oh, right, just where it is, sha la la la, yeah, and it's out now. So we can talk about like Lauren and Alexis being in the video, yeah, 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 that was funny, it was funny, and I was directing it, wasn't I, a little bit, and I was saying because you two had to do a scene in front of a Christmas tree our Christmas tree on the floor um, and you guys were just sat there whatever and I was like bro you, you, you're you meant to have left me for her yeah yeah but you just didn't look in love bro do you know how awkward it is <laughs> the fucking 16 people all pointing the camera at you your like, actual just, missus just, just <laughs> act, yeah just act like you're in love and then your actual missus mother of your child sat next to you going act in love <laughs> so I just started saying like oh yeah I ate all the face biscuits actually last yeah, night if, if anyone slows it down and actually <laughs> Lip reads. Lip reads. Ethan is just talking about his favourite biscuits in like footballers and yeah. whatever. Yeah. Um, I was going, Lauren, can you touch his arm, please? Can you rub his arm? <laughs> We're both just awkward anyway. Like, Lauren's yeah, quite awkward Lauren's anyway. Yeah, quite awkward. But um, yeah, so I was awkwardly sat there talking about biscuits and laughing that I ate all of Faith's biscuits. Yeah, yeah. And then I said, what's your favourite crisp? What's your favourite chocolate yeah. bar? And obviously the piggyback scene where she had to lift the... Uh, we Well, it's meant to be a star, but we have a bow on the top of our tree because we're from my sixth yeah. start, mate, so we have a bow. Um, and then I was like, oh, Lauren, get on his back. Piggybacks, put a star on the tree. And I was like, what? <laughs> yeah, it just all went too far. That went too far. No, the outside bit was too far. I'm jumping around with my cock out and oh. she's just twerking. Yeah, no. So Gone too far. So, <laughs> your cock weren't meant to fall out. So Lauren... <laughs> well, you shouldn't have bought me fucking pants. Oh so dear. So Lauren was um, casted for the video because one, me and Lauren are actually really good friends. Like, I've been out for lunch, whatever. Like, I get on really well with Lauren. And as, as we said in a previous episode, she's just not a, like, a threat. Like, she's never that been that girl. No. Do you know what I mean? No, sure. Um like she's just a nice person like girl, girl's girl actually and um, so she'd never just try and get a man punch back so felt really comfortable with Lauren playing the part um, over anybody else I knew she came in stepped in but Lauren's main selling point is her lovely bottom and uh, I, I what had what would you describe it as? No, you're still in trouble for that. <laughs> don't, don't act like just because I've done a music video, you're now out of trouble for that. Listen All here, of right? her TikTok comments still say that. It's quite funny though. You're looking at her like, bum and then called Yeah, but that's anchor. just because you should be happy that I made a funny comment. like that. What's and, mine? Yours is, you, you got an anchor, darling. You got an anchor. No, I don't. You do. You got an anchor for a, uh, for a rowing boat. <laughs> that's what you've got an anchor for. Thanks. <laughs> she, no, um, so the, the ad but oh, the, it comes from it. weren't even like a compliment, like "cool, yeah." It's like a fucking anchor. It was the fact she doesn't stand up, bro. Any opportunity, she'll just sit on the floor. Yeah, it's so, so big. It and then JJ down. made the joke that it was weighing her down. So I said, "Oh yeah, like an anchor." Yeah, yeah. No, I've anchor. heard it. Yeah, no, it's a really funny joke. Um, <laughs> anywho, the ad lives in the song at the end for the credits. Um, it says anchor, nah, paperweight. Yeah, because I call my bum. I didn't paper like the way. one with all the uh, ad libs in. I no, think that's, it's, that's, it's just, that's just for the. I can't paint. understand what's happening. No, it's just for the credits. All oh, right, it's okay. just a bit of silly. Okay, sure. It's, don't try and talk down my song. I'm not, but the the ad lib thing was. Do you actually chaos. like the song name? I like the song, but I don't like the ad libs. Oh, I, no, I didn't really songs, know how to song, do them. No, you you ad libbed like you was on Amigos song. That's what I was trying to do. It's yeah, the only just song I've had ad libs. Didn't fit. I am them. Uh, ad libs don't uh, ad libs don't have to be like yeah we're here in this bitch paperweight bah. they don't have to be that ad libs are just like little things in the background like you could harmonise with yourself or something for like a word okay or like or repeat do I a look word. like a rapper like with you 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 like you, you know, ad libs are just stuff like that like the little backing things but you just went full Migos on like a sing song <laughs> yeah because that's what I've heard sure Bro, I was spitting fire. Don't come yeah. me right now. Sure. Anyways, I really enjoyed it. I thought it was it's good. good. It was a it's Christmas good. cooker. And it just wasn't great for me. Yeah, that's not true. It is true. He had a whole day of sidemen <laughs> filming and then he had to come home. We was filming until like one, two in, two. Two in the morning. Two people that. left the house at two. Yeah. So I was out. I, I hit the record button in the studio at 11 a.m. I didn't finish being on film until 2 a.m. Mm. Love that. And then what did I have the next day? <laughs> football in the morning. That was by choice. So. Then, yeah, yeah, your dad comes over to watch football, obviously. And um, <laughs> he came out just before we was about to kick off. He went, you look fucked. <laughs> I was like, yeah, no, not far off. 
yeah. It was funny, but the last scene that I was filming dancing in my coat, because that was the outside scenes were filmed last, it was so cold. When yeah. I said it was like one degrees outside and I was dancing around, well, we both was like yeah. basically fucking naked. I was naked. If that's a cue to go and watch it, you may as well. Um, but yeah, I had, to, I had to cave and put a coat on because yeah. I was so cold. Was Baltic. Yeah, it, um, I've got a BTS video out as well where you, you can see like, that, like Sydney, so one of yeah. we had like runners or whatever to help the day go smooth. Um, he was like, keep warm. And I was just <laughs> dancing around. Like, he was like, kick your legs, kick your legs, bro. I, I was going to get pneumonia. It was so cold. And obviously he was like, right, now sing the whole song through in four minutes. And I was yeah. like, oh my God. Yeah. And I was like, and it's like more energy. I was like, bro. <laughs> But it helped me look thin because where I, you know when you're cold, you su- you're sucking in your tents. Yeah. It did bits for that. Yeah, you're toxic. I said, no, no, I'm not. You are toxic about being skinny. No, I'm you not. are toxic. <laughs> it is quite funny. You were saying this, weren't we, about toxicity and being skinny. Because for someone who only wears baggy clothes. Yeah. It's it's quite funny. Yeah. Oh, what, but I, I want to just do nothing. That's nice. Yeah, I want to like... We're going to go Winter Wonderland. Yeah, I just can't be doing with that. But No, so. I've done, we're going to get balaclavas and it'll be fine. It, yeah, that worked so well last year. No, because I, I didn't wear one. Right. Yeah. So we're both... No, I'm not, I'm not saying... We're both going to walk around Winter Wonderland balaclava up, are we? I'm not saying I'm as huge as you, but people know I'm with you. They see no, know, me. The person next no, to me I'm is obviously like going to be you. I like two fucking individuals walking around balaclava up. up. Yeah, right, sure. I like, I enjoy it. I know you enjoy it. Because it's our time it. off. I put up with it every year. And I, I enjoyed it when we go and get our mulled wines. I didn't like the spinny one, though. The spinny one's fun, though. I weren't really a fan of that. But that's funny. No, I don't enjoy it. It's funny. Yeah, and we did the big ride with the... Uh, it's massive. It goes up and down like you're falling. And yeah. you can see all of London. Yeah. I don't know what it's called. But I like that one. Yeah. I like, like all of them. Yeah, this one makes hey, Look, you want to go? I like the rides, but yeah, I, I it's just, just remember chaos. One, the first year we went, we had one of our first memories. You took a nice, cute video of us. You've never done it since. A nice, cute video of us on a roller coaster. Yeah. Never done that ever again. <laughs> <laughs> I just, you got to think about it, right? I have more than enough times being videoed and filmed and stuff. No, sometimes, shut up. It's not, it's not a get out clause because you use Sometimes I just like enjoying my time just at peace, man. No, okay, but you never pick up any cute moments of us. There's so, so many, there's so many cute to, moments like, of you them. and like... I live them. Everyone else. I live them. Cool. Talk to me when you got dementia in 30 years. Then what? Well, then that's just unfortunate. Because it's in both our families, so... But, 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 by the way, even if I get dementia, right? You I could, can show you. Like, you can show you. me the picture and I'll be like, who's that? <laughs> <laughs> if I've got dementia, I've got dementia. But I'm not going to know that that's you. me. You might. <laughs> Oh, look, Ethan, that's you. Is it? Who's that? Great. Not well. <laughs> so it's pointless. Well, anyways, I think members of us are cute. I enjoy them. It's not all about you. So why don't you film more then? I do. Yeah. And then go stop filming. Because, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just let me live, man. Let me exist. No. Right. What do you mean, no? No. Why? Because I like them. It's not all about no, but it's all about you, evidently. No, I just like pictures and that. Sure. Bloody hell. All right. I'm being like thrown in the mud for wanting cute moments of us. Here Jesus. Here we go. Because I, I just don't like the wishy-washy. Oh, look, we're here. I, know, I, I do a lot of it on camera, actually. Yeah. Not much of cute stuff is shared with us. Yeah. Uh, I've got Would You Rather Christmas Edition. All right, then. Would you rather receive 20 small gifts or one big one? Uh, define small. Define big. Little trinkets and bits and pieces. Like a phone case, <laughs> or like a, <laughs> or like a Louis Vuitton. Yeah, I think the big thing has to be like anything you think is big. Yeah. Uh, I actually don't know. You know, I think I'd pick the twenty small ones because in my head I've already brewed up chocolate coins. Yeah. <laughs> Little bits of chocolate. <laughs> yeah. Every chocolate orange. Because <laughs> I just, I just think one. If it's the big one, I probably already know what it is. I probably ask for it. Yeah, protein bar. Yeah. Two, there's, there's fun in that opening. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? You've got 20 chances at fun. Yeah. That's what I'd I I'd probably go small as well. Yeah. All right, and then next the next up. Ba- baby I birth, push present. <laughs> Would you rather have Christmas every day or never at all? Oh, every day. Every day? Yeah. It's fucking expensive. Without the buying part? <laughs> no. Why? <laughs> Christmas. Christmas uh, as post- it is, every day. Postman would be bloody... It would it 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 would have killed himself, I reckon. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, if you don't Especially want to walk down, if out, yeah. walk down to our house every day. <laughs> yeah, 
Um, yeah. I, I, I think like, Christmas every day. I it's think a, Christmas it's every day it loses its fucking like magic. Yeah, but though. never it's at all. Jarring. It's just every day in the I office. I wouldn't mind it. Long. Uh, would you rather eat roast turkey for every main meal or Christmas pudding for every dessert? Oh, for Probably every turkey. meal. Really? Mm. Christmas turkey for every main meal? Mm. Quite like the turkey. Well, I don't have dessert that much, so I'm going to choose a Christmas pudding one. But that's every... what I'm saying. You can leave it on your dinner anyway. You don't have to. Sure. Would you rather be Frosty the Snowman or Buddy the Elf? I'm choosing Buddy the Elf. Oh, yeah. yeah. I wouldn't have thought that because you're the snowman in your um, group chat. You all have it little emojis and you're the snowman. Why is that? I don't know. No? <laughs> no, no. <clue. laughs> uh, I don't know. No? no Crazy. I like Christmas. Okay. Oh. Uh, I'd choose him by the elf. Yeah. Uh, I'd choose that as well. Yeah. <laughs> Would you rather have only strawberry delights in your quality street tin or the purple ones? Purple ones. Purple ones. Yeah, 100% Although, I like them. you know how we had quality streets the other night? Well, I had a lot of them. Uh, I'd like two. <laughs> yeah. I actually had like a handful of the story runs and I enjoyed them. Oh no, I like them. They're I just think not my first This book. is a, uh, this is a sign of growing up. Yeah. You know how like when people, like Josh now drinks Aperol Spritz. Ooh. And by the way, if you drink Aperol Spritz, that's pretty much You're like, wrong that's pretty much like, you might as well just dip into your pension now. Like you yeah. are old, finished, knackered. They're not nice. They're not nice. It's bitter and, yeah. uh, it's horrid. So Josh now drinks Aperol Spritz. Mm. But I feel like as you get older, people eat the orange crunch and the strawberry delights. Yeah, they but enjoy not, the... Yeah. Yeah. But is that conditioning to let your kids have the nice I was ones? literally just about to say, is this just because so other you, people want the nice yeah, ones? Yeah, and you get you just, for the benefit, you yeah, just take Yeah, you just the, take the other yeah, ones. Yeah, fair days. Um, but yeah, I do like a quality street. I don't host, really but. like the orange crunch. I don't really like orange chocolate. I don't like Terry's chocolate orange either. Really? That's the only, only chocolate I don't like. Uh, would you rather have matchmakers... For fingers or after eights for ears. Oh, oh! Feel like matchmakers' fingers—they break every day. Yeah, they're so like they—they they break. You get you go like that, and it breaks. Yeah, I and mean, then after eights for ears. After eights for ears, I'm they're a bit it. sticky in my hair. Oh. They're square. Aren't I'm gonna. They? I, I think match. I think you'd just end up with no fingers. You'd have stumps by literally hour two. You to pick any, anything up with match match. But what if they don't break? There's a rule. They don't. All right, break. If they don't break, then maybe yeah. But I just eat them. <laughs> <laughs> it. I can't eat my ear. Uh, it's impossible. That is true. You so, definitely eat them. Um, I've got ten snacks. <laughs> that is so true. <laughs> I would eat them. Yeah, you yeah would. I'd eat myself. Yeah. Uh would you rather have no Christmas or no birthday? No birthday. Yeah, I'm not a birthday no man, birthday. Anyway. It's always a little bit, I should get older. It's a bit bittersweet on a birthday now. Because when I was younger, I was like, oh, it's so 16, funny. 18, 21. And now I've passed for them. It's like, oh, God. It's every so year it, since I've known you, I've always said I'm not really that much of a birthday person. And every year you've thrown me like a bitch in the... But every year leading up to my birthday. I'm so ungrateful. No, no, it's lovely. It's lovely. It's lovely. But I have thought on these days before, I have thought... She never picks up that. I just I'm, I'm not. I don't do birthday like that. Would you rather guide Santa sleigh or fly with a snowman? Guide guide the sleigh. I don't. What's flying with a snowman? Is that just like free fall? Like, I'm, flying in the air. Yeah, I'm not into that. That's a bit scary. I'd rather be. <laughs> a, yeah, I'd rather be on just like a sleigh. Yeah, I think driving a sleigh would be fun. <laughs> a little bit like a horse and cart. Never done it. Would be quite cool. Would you rather meet the Grinch or Ebenezer Scrooge? The Grinch because TikTok. Then Scrooge is just like a weird geezer, isn't it? That's yeah. what I mean. Like that's a natural man. Yeah. Just someone who hates Christmas. Yeah. I feel like you'd get along that's with him. That's a bit weird. You uh, might get along with him. Probably. Uh, I would I would like to meet the Grinch. I would like to meet the Grinch. Like you, the Grinch. You've met the Grinch. Yeah, I live uh -huh. with it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, would you rather have a visit from the ghost of Christmas past or the ghost of Christmas future? Ooh. I don't really get all them tales. Do you? No, not. No. Nah. I'm going to say future because I think the future's cool. Maybe past. Let's like see how it's done. I like all the um, old stories about like the cow and the oranges in yeah. the, um, in the um, sacks. What are they? Stockings. Stockings. Yeah. Uh, my nan used to say that they always got treated in the war homes with um, an orange in their stocking. It was like a big thing. Talking of stockings. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> you want me in them? Woohoo. Get some stockings on your lassie. Uh, would you rather have Brussels sprouts with every meal or get coal in your stocking? Well, you'd rather coal. I'm choosing the coal. I'd probably choose coal. We don't do stockings anyway, so it wouldn't bother me. I'm not into sprouts, man. Yeah. I'm not, the only time I've ever 
enjoy the leaf of a sprout is when it's been fried with like bacon and all sorts. Yeah, I don't I don't mind Brussels. I eat them and even put some on my plate. Oh, but for like every meal, a bit long. Brussels just aren't it, man. Yeah. Just... Ethan don't think the heat is. No. Uh, would you rather spend Christmas in the snow or on the beach? Snow. Snow, 100% snow. I don't get it when people go like Oz for Christmas. <laughs> for me, Christmas is cold. It's wintry. It should be that. And yeah. it, I hate it when it doesn't snow. It's not snowed for so many years. Yeah. But would it you, should be cold. Would you rather be one of Santa's reindeers or one of his elves? I think I'd rather be a reindeer because an elf, I'm just working. <laughs> yeah, I knew that was going to be your answer. <laughs> like if I'm a reindeer, I get to fly. Yeah. And and um, flying. Although I'm You've still, got to fly around the whole world, yeah, right? Yeah, it's a long, again, that's still a little bit more... Long shift, bit still a little bit more main name. event than just packing presents up in the factory. You making them? Sure, but even then, that's even more labour. So now I've got to put the toys together and sh put them on the fucking thing. That's horrible. True. I've already asked Ethan if, like, Christmas Eve or Christmas Eve Eve, we can wrap Olive's presents can together with, like, a glass of red wine. I don't think either of us would drink it, both no. not wine people, but <laughs> it's it's the Christmassy thought that counts um, and whack on a Christmas film. And already you don't seem like you like the sound of that. I'll do it. You do it, but the whole wrapping presents, you'd prefer if I did it. I'm really bad at it's that as well. You've seen my wrapping. Like that oh, it's yeah, just you not used the, duct tape on mine before. Yeah. Like it's just not and that's me trying, by the way. You, I, I, I like You've made your hat funny. Oh, thanks. But um that's <laughs> no, he's still like that. <laughs> <laughs> that's me trying. Yeah. That is me trying. It's not like I just go whatever. I gen I've just got fucking Who's the hands when yeah. it comes to rapping? I, can I can't teach do it. You know. Sure. All right then, we'll do a tutorial. Oh. Would you rather eat a whole Yule log or a whole stolen? What's a stolen? A stolen. What's a stolen? What's a stolen? I don't know, but either way, it's Yule, Yule log. Yeah. Yule log. Yule. I love Yule log. They're so good with heavy cream. Oh, growing mm. up, I used to like. I used to probably eat a whole Yule log. Yeah, you probably did. Yeah. Uh, oh, let's choose another one. Would you rather have Rudolph's red nose or be green like the Grinch? I'd choose a red nose. I wouldn't want to be all green. Imagine me just sat in out. Yeah, red nose, blend it with makeup. It's quite cute. No, he's got to be shiny like that. And then, yeah, when, it's, when it starts... Well, I don't know if I could have a red glowing. nose and it be this point. It'll go in my <laughs> eyes. <laughs> That'd be quite funny. Uh, would you rather play games all day or watch movies? Games. Games. Yeah. Yeah. I think if I start watching a film, I'm going to sleep. Sleep. Yeah, I'm yeah. going to sleep. Yeah. yeah. I, bad, I, I never understand families that are like, oh, we have Christmas dinner and we watch a film. Or like The King's sleep, Speech. Man. Like, it's boring. Like, we, we play games. Yeah. I think that's fun. Uh, would you rather be an angel on the Christmas tree or a gonk on the sideboard? I quite like the gonks. Yeah, we've got a lot, haven't we? You've got a couple of gonks. I think the gonks are quite cute these days. I don't days. get them. No, we I don't, don't know where they come from. I don't know, but we've got like seven of them. I don't know what trend <laughs> started gonks or like, have they already been a thing? I don't know. How long did they have? Oh, how long have they been established for? Because um, I'm not too sure. Uh, would you rather have Christmas lights for hair or a bauble for a nose? Christmas lights for hair would be quite cool. Be naughty though, God. Be, yeah, really tangled up hair. But you could you, you imagine you're going out to a rave. Put it on the flash. And and go, yeah. Yeah. I'd probably go Christmas lights. Christmas for lights. Yeah, I don't want a bauble for a nose. Yeah. Feel like would you rather drink only hot chocolate or eat only Christmas cookies? Christmas cookies. I don't know. Things like that really get me. And I'm, also, I'm, I'm very particular with my hot chocolates. Like, do you know the hot chocolate you just get on the spoon and put it together? I think it's just, it's chocolate water. Mm. I need my hot chocolate to have like a velvety substance to it. I don't want it to feel like creamy. Mm. I don't want to feel like I've just got hot chocolate water. Apparently, you can, I see it again on Facebook, in a slow cooker, you can put your hot chocolate, mix it with Baileys and heavy cream and it's meant to be really Really? Nice. Oh, mm. well. Okay. Uh, would you rather... Eat oat. Oh, okay, then that's poo. Uh, oh, wow, these are poo now. Uh, would you rather eat 100 chocolate coins or 20 candy canes? I think I could do 100 chocolate coins in about five minutes. I think quicker than I eat the wings. <laughs> yeah, yeah, 100%. I'd go chocolate coins. I love If there's no coins. time limit, I'd do that. Simon Clovin sent us out like a thing the other day. And it, I see them in your office. I there. ate the chocolate coins within about five seconds. Yeah, you've got a thing for them. You do like them. I love chocolate. I don't know. It's such a ch I it's feel a like childish it's just, thing, isn't it? No, but it's, it's it has been my childhood. Every Christmas, I would get loads of chocolate coins. Yeah. And but I fucking love them. Yeah. I think it's a novelty of opening them. Yeah, yeah, I love it. Yeah. I love it. I went to Tesco's the other day and bought myself some chocolate coins. Did I bought down an oil and I saw some chocolate coins and I thought... An oil? Oil. 
<laughs> I was walking down, <laughs> the, walk down the aisle. <laughs> I, was, I was walking down the aisle. Uh, I was walking down the aisle. Aisle. That's my nose. Aisle. <laughs> I was walking down the aisle. Um, aisle. And uh, and I saw them right at the bottom, and I thought, "You're coming home with me." <laughs> You're coming home with me. Yep. There's a thing we do. You always check the bottom row for chocolates. You're doing. You find some good stuff down there. Good stuff. You That's where I found the Tafifis. You found white the Tafifis. Yeah. Uh, believe me, no, no chocolate escapes these eyes. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. The issue. Uh, would you rather eat 10 mince pies or 10 Christmas cookies you like a mince pie I love a mince pie don't get mince pie huh? I love them so much mince pie I tell you what Brussels sprouts and mince pies for me are like bottom tier Christmas things really yeah I've seen some people debate on socials not having a Yorkshire on a Christmas dinner yeah I've seen this that's criminal because they think a Sunday roast and a Christmas dinner is different nah a, a Christmas dinner is an extravagant yeah, Sunday roast it's just, it's just it on steroids it's the same thing steroids just different, a turkey, really. Different shit, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I I think a tier list wise of like a Christmas plate and stuff like Yeah, just mince pies don't... They're shit. Mm. I love a Yorkshire. And people don't like pigs in blankets either. That's crazy. Yeah. That's fucking criminal. The fingers come Yeah, out. that's fucking criminal. I... <laughs> my mum used to make me a tray of pigs in blankets. I used to eat the, 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 my tray. There is a reason why you was that big. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> but pigs in blankets are fucking phenomenal, man. Yeah, they are good. They are Sausage good. wrapped in bacon or cozy. <laughs> yeah, 100%. And then, and then especially if you whack a little bit of honey over them as well. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> oh, you know, it's honey on his food now. Only at ah. Christmas and only on pigs in blankets. Ah, uh, I see, I yep. see. Uh, but yeah, I would say the mince pies are mid. Mm. Uh, would you rather have eyes made out of coal or a nose made of from a carrot? Nose. Bit weird that, yeah. Bite my yeah. nose. Yeah, cute. It's not really though, is it? Do you know, oh my God. So when I was getting my lips tattooed, yeah, because it's obviously all by your, um, your nose or her hand, because my nose points up, right? Most people's noses point down. Her hand kept going like this, I couldn't breathe because she was blocking my nostrils. <laughs> but obviously if that was any other human, the nostrils wouldn't be no, there. That was funny. If you that sleep... almost killed me. But I, I never want to tell people. So I, I was just, like, I was like, I'm going to pass out in a minute because I've not breathed in so yeah. long. If I sleep like further down on my pillow, then Faith's got like these fucking nose jets that just fucking... Oh, I hate it when you say that. You make me really insecure. So now when I, <laughs> now when, now when I cut a olive, I just, I'm like, oh my God, am I like blown out? <laughs> you are, yes. Yeah, you, yeah, you are. Because Ethan makes these really horrible wing jokes <laughs> when I cuddle him and he's like, oh, you get your nose jets off of me. Because <laughs> like, my nose points are up, you can just feel the I'm air. i in front of a hairdryer, man. <laughs> it's fucking... <laughs> Fucking blowing all over the gaff. That's not funny. Just fucking want to go to sleep. Doesn't even point out it? that much. It's funny. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it's quite funny, isn't it? Oh well. Would you rather you did the outro or me? You. Tough luck. It's your turn again. Yeah, I just it's so fun to watch. Okay, great. Uh, well, I hope you're enjoying your Christmas, guys. <laughs> so make sure you follow the Growing Pains Instagram channel. Go to the Doghouse Instagram chat where hopefully Ethan said something this time around. If you are audio listening on Spotify, make sure you give us five stars. And there's one more on YouTube. If you are watching us uh, talk, then make sure you <laughs> like and subscribe. <laughs> Great. That was better. Yeah. Bye. Bosh.